There's lots of pretty people here sharing sultries and passing letters in. There's lots of questions answered and metaphysical, astronomical songs were printed all in papers that seem too mystical. It's so magical. People that dance and compute that no one's better than you. La la la, la la la, la la la. Cities who rule the persons and make them happy and we won't forget about a love service or a mandatory Even the animals are that something brewing and they're all cooing Cause in the end I'd like to say no one's better than you I hope you're happy now I've revealed the truth I've even written this whole song about you and not about me and not about me Please don't just laugh and clap right now This is serious, I'm not delirious I've waited very patiently Just to let you know who should run the show Cause we all know these are the facts Nothing to retract, nothing to abstract Concluding in the song we'll say No one's better than you No one's better than you
Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope everybody's got panache today. I hope you're feeling like you got panache. If you don't have panache, well, that's, uh, I don't know. That sucks. <laughs> I hope you're all doing good today. We are here today to gather up and view some items. Uh, for those who are here for the last stream, not the last stream, the stream before the last stream, uh, I have been sponsored by HelloFresh, something I've been pushing for for a while to get these codes that work in more than just the US. These work in Canada, you work in the UK, uh, in the New Zealand, France, Germany, all over the darn old place. Um, and yeah, Canada is the big one. And they sent me a box. They sent me a box. We ordered it on stream and we're going to be unboxing it today. You got rally ravioli. Does that work? I, mm, I don't know if that's a good replacement. If you make a, your recipe with ravioli to replace your panache, I just don't think it's, I don't know if it'll turn out so good. <laughs> what does panache mean? How do you even spell that? Panache. Pana it's like, it's like P-N-A, yeah, P-N-A-C-H-E. Noun, a grand or flamboyant manner, a semicolon verve, semicolon style semicolon flair <laughs> cool is that the right usage of semicolons uh the actor who would play sireno must have panache an ornamental plume of feathers tassels or the like especially one worn on a helmet or cap architecture into sorry why does it say architecture at the end <laughs> anyway that's panache uh i hope everybody's feeling good i'm excited to unbox this stuff uh i i i like food <laughs> <laughs> I talked a lot on the last stream about how I've been learning to cook. And so this is really exciting for me. This is a five whole recipes that we're going to pop open. Let's just get into it. Uh, let me turn on the camera. Hello. I hope you're all doing great. This is the uh, first time I've been on, on camera in, uh, since the Tarkov stream where we did that a while ago. And uh, I'm, act I'm not in my pajamas this time. <laughs> last time we did a, a, a webcam stream, I was in my pajamas. And I felt awkward about it the whole time. But I've got the box right here. I already, it's already open because I had to make sure my address wasn't on anything. Um, and this is also, you guys get to see my new haircut, which I'm not going to lie is not ideal for me because it's between y'all, you and me, it's too short. It's too short. <laughs> but I, I got rid of all the blonde. There's no more blonde in my hair anymore. It's all natural. Uh, the blonde from being pink haired. Uh, so this is officially the first time I've been all natural hair since. I originally got pink hair when I started streaming, basically. But I hope you're all doing wonderful. Hi. Uh, before we get started, I would like to thank my monthly tippers, World Stream Team, Justin Transcall, Andromeda, and K90. Uh, if you don't know what a, uh, you know the spiel, is a monthly tip. You can you can make the connection. I got to respect your intelligence, chat. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, monthly tippers, thank you so much. Huge help to do, can I? Uh, subs, big help, donations. We got song requests on today if you want to listen to some music. And if you want to support me, the number one best way to do so is, of course, using that HelloFresh link. It's a big help. And uh, it's, it's only around for so long, a limited time. And I'm about to show you what, what, what you would get, theoretically, with it, maybe, depending on which section you order. I got it. This is heavy. This is a lot of food. Can I even get this on my lap? <laughs> a lot of food <laughs> bump my mic here i'm gonna move my mic i'm gonna move my mic i can't <laughs> it's a lot of food uh here let's eh, i can't reach the, i can't reach the webcam eh. <laughs> there we go <laughs> there we go we got the box uh <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So this folds up. Hang on. Now I have to turn it around because it folds that way. Oh, Christ. There we go. Look at that. Meals. Christ. <laughs> All right. So we double check to make sure the address isn't on any of this. So we should be fine. Uh, just triple checking. Yeah, we're good. Oh, my God. This smells good. I smell it. So this is our HelloFresh. We got the five, uh, the five meals kit for two people. Um, and they're all in here. Uh, let's take a look at what we got here. This is, oh, these are the recipes. Okay, perfect. So these are the recipes. Nice little, sh that's perfect. You can just like have these and keep them around the house. Okay, so that's the recipes. We're gonna move those aside for now. Welcome to the Fresh Fam. 
cool, cool download app. Get more boxes, more rewards. The more you give, the more you get standard uh, subscription stuff. But I'm here for this food. Uh, it's temperature controlled, so it's cold. Right now, this is cold on my hands. All right, so the, yeah, this is the, oh yeah, I forgot what I ordered. This is the beef thyme meatballs and onion gravy. This one's the Scandi style salmon. Oh my God, I'm making that tonight. <laughs> what else did I get? I don't even remember. This is the, this is the apple sandwich. <laughs> this one's the apple sandwich. That one goes right there. I wanna see the apple sandwich. Uh, this one is t turkey dumpling soup. There's more stuff under here too. Uh, and this one is pork stir fry. Uh, I gotta like, <laughs> there's more stuff under here. I gotta get in here. We're just gonna drop my meals to the sides. <laughs> All right, what else? Yeah, I just ate my hair. What else is in here? Uh, these are codes to give to my friends. I don't wanna show, I've already got a code. Y'all don't get those. <laughs> Piece of cart, cart board. I don't know what this is for. Oh, and green. Oh, these are, okay, so this is the uh, separator for the ice. And this keeps the bottom stuff cold. That makes sense. Oh, my favorite snack, the ice. I feel like I probably legally have to say that you don't eat the ice, right? Like, I can't make that joke, probably. <laughs> I'm putting the ice in a box that's next to me. Just in the, there's a PS2 in that box. Yeah, and then there's this, here, I can show y'all. There's the, I can't, <laughs> I can't show and reach at the same time. We got the bacon. Oh, nice chunk of bacon there. That's a nice thick chunk of bacon. The turkey. So yeah, like I said, uh, like we talked about on stream, it's all pre-portioned. So here's the salmon. This is exactly how much you need for the, you even got your corn pre-portioned. There's more ice. <laughs> what else is in here? The ground beef. That is some good looking ground beef, actually. I don't know, like if that's, yeah, the color's not gonna super, sh no, that that's totally, sh that's some nice looking ground beef. And then the ground pork, heck yeah. I'm excited for all this. I was, I, I wanted to cook this on stream. I can't, I, I cannot cook this on stream because, hi, um, I can't get this computer to the kitchen. It's just, if this was on Duke stream, there's a window and we could have used that, but I do want to, I want to open up this apple sandwich. I, I gotta know. I gotta know what's going on with the app, appy sand, uh, appy sandy. Oh, I, I tore it. Appy sandy potato. Oh yeah. Cause it has, um, Christ, what are they called? Like little chopped potato <laughs> as a side. Um, potatoes. Bagged mayonnaise, which, like, what else are they gonna do? But also, it just, it's kind of, I think this is, I think this is a sin. <laughs> and we got the cheese. Where's the apple? I wanna know the apple. What is this? Oh, honey, right. Some spinach. Spinach is an underrated sandwich topping. I've been using spinach instead of lettuce for a while now for my sandwiches. It's delicious. You gotta try it if you haven't. Um, here's the buns. Appy Sandy, and the, and the Appy. Appy for Appy Sandy. Does any of this need cooking? The, uh, the potatoes would. There's spices. Yeah, so I'm not gonna open every single one because I don't wanna just like get all the materials everywhere, but as you can see, everything, again, pre-portioned. This is like the, this is, this is Dijon mustard. This is whole grain mustard, but then less obvious stuff, like the, the spices are, are pre-portioned. Like this is exactly how much you wanna add to everything. So no waste, which is really big for me because I, I have a bad habit of getting stuff at the store and then letting it rot in my fridge. And so this is good. Um, I don't think I can make, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I can make this sandwich here. I don't have like knives and stuff. So I'm probably, I'm gonna put this back away, but I'm gonna make this after stream. Yeah, again, just there's no way I could get this set up into the kitchen, but one day I wanna do like, I wanna cook something on stream at some point. I, I've, I have this idea I really want to do. I want to make a, a YouTube series one day that is specifically, it's, it's, it's like uh, recipes for depression meals. Cause you know, you Google depression meal and they whip out an onion and it's like, hold on, you want me to chop that up? Not happening. 
That's not a depression meal. I want to I want to whip something together that is that shows how to make food when you, for when you have like ADHD like me, when you do not have the the, the brain juice to cook stuff. Um, and HelloFresh is like a step towards that. Um, obviously, there's uh, depending on what you get, there's a lot of options. It's more preps, but that's something I'd like to do in the future at some point. But yeah, I mean, we got all the recipes here. Looks delicious. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. Um, I mean, what else do we have here? Got the pork. I want to see what's what's going on here. I know I said I wasn't gonna open all these, but <laughs> I want to look at them. This is the pork stir fry. So this had, I don't remember any of the ingredients, but this had some celery, some soy sauce. Never done an unboxing before. Is there like, is there like a rule book for unboxings? <laughs> Maybe I should have gone online and been like, unboxing tutorial. We're unboxing. And then, and then I make a video where I unbox the unboxing tutorial. Brilliant. Anyways, rice vinegar. Oh, snap peas. I'm gonna have to fight myself not to just eat those as is. Speaking of the onion, there's an onion in here. Bag of rice. Bag of what, hoisin sauce? I don't know what that is. I don't know what hoisin sauce is. But it's probably good. And sweet chili sauce. And that's everything in there. That sounds really good too. So yeah, it's it's not it's not too much, right? Like this is just for the meal. And if I, obviously the pork wasn't in the, the pork was chilled, but you know, if I wanted to, if I, if I want to make this, I don't have to be intimidated by, by all that ingredients. Hoisin sauce is very good in pho. I don't, this isn't pho. This is a stir fry, but I've never had it before. Is that how you pronounce it? Hoisin? Hoisin? It's like a Chinese plum sauce. Oh, that does sound good. But yeah, uh, HelloFresh, I, I seriously do recommend looking into it. I, I, Learning to cook, I mean, I talked about it this bunch on the last stream, but learning to cook has been, excuse me, I'll scooch my chair in, uh, really important for me just to take control of my environment a little bit. I've, there, I have favorite meals and it's crazy how little effort you have to put into some, to, to cook some things. When you, when you have everything in front of you, the hardest barrier to me for cooking is knowing what to like collect and then getting the courage to make it into a meal. Um, but HelloFresh does a lot of that work for you. You know, you, they, they get, they, they, you have the, ing you have the ingredients. You don't got to waste nothing and you get to pick what you want. But yeah. So again, if you're interested in, uh, in getting some HelloFresh, my code is going to be active for end of the month, sometime like that. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to check again um, for a while, though. It's going to be for at least a few weeks longer. So please, it helps me out on a, a huge deal. If you subscribe to HelloFresh, please at me anywhere. Just tell me uh, to my using my code because I don't have any other way to know. I mean, I'll know at the end when the promotion's done. But, but yeah, I want to I want to bring out a huge thank you to HelloFresh. I, 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 I pushed for this because I know a lot of my Canadian followers and outside of the U.S. in general have been saying they want to get in on that. They want to get on all that HelloFresh. They want to support their favorite streamer, Sophie Baby. And it's they haven't been able to. So I, I've been pushing for this, like, not quite internet. Well, it's an international in, in, in by definition code. But it's, it, you know, Canada, UK, New Zealand, Germany, France, right? Um, that's, I, I've been pushing for this because I, I I do think it's it's a good, I, I think learning to cook is important. And I think it's a really good way to learn how to cook. And it's a good step. And it's all right there. Anyways, I'm gonna turn off this webcam. Cause I forgot <laughs> I have to show my face on stream. Literally like 10 minutes before stream. I was like, oh, oh, oh shit. I gotta be there, huh? <laughs> With my face and such. With my face and head. Um Oh, Duke, thank you. You're going to clean stuff up for me? Yeah. Put it away. Thank you. You threw the potato. I didn't throw the potato. I gently, like, pa passed Lost them it. in. I gently, very gently tossed them into that box. Thank you very much. Is this supposed to be in the uh, bag? Uh, that one is goes this, in the... This, that one? No, that one, because oh, it was in yeah. there. Yeah. Duke doesn't believe in my organizational tactics. <laughs> 
Thanks. Uh, what do we want to do? Oh, is this code for first time HelloFresh subs? Yes, it is. First time uh, new accounts only. First time users only. Um, what are we doing today? <laughs> I knew I I knew I was gonna do this because this arrived. Uh, thank you for putting those away, darling. Mm -hmm. What are we doing today? What's the what's the stream? What's the what's the goal? What's the plan? It do be a struggle deciding on what to eat. Yeah, HelloFresh has like uh HelloFresh has um uh rotating recipes. Uh and it's easy to <laughs> They have rotating recipes, you can customize them, you can get get vegan recipes, you can get healthy recipes. Thank you, darling. Are you the one who's sponsored right now? Well, what's your code and how much percent off per uh <laughs> For, for you know how long my code is hello sophie baby and you get up to 20 free meals thank you very much <laughs> no but duke is right yeah there's like there's plenty of options there's uh there's there's sorry i'm <laughs> a little split there's plenty of options you get to choose they rotate the recipe so you get to you know if you if you're if if you are somebody who's paralyzed by choice you won't have to worry about that anyways uh as for what we're doing today somebody suggested tarkov I haven't been playing Tarkov lately. Uh, I kind of just, you know, I, I I got my fix, and um, I've just been chilling lately. Um, Emerald Rogue, I don't even know what that is. Your pizza tower is all the rage. I'm not spending money. Sorry. Hello, Sophie. Baby, such a cute code. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's so when I saw it, I got a big smile on my face. Spelunky, we could do Spelunky. I might do Spelunky. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Rust. I'm not going to play Rust, mostly because we're in the middle of a wipe cycle and it would be weird to join right now, but playing a lot of Rust in my own time. I've actually got a plan for a future stream for Rust that's going to be very exciting. Uh, me and Bailey are going to be doing a very, very big project. So probably next week, um, I'm thinking March 2nd should be when the wipe happens. So that'll that'll be it. Hello, Sophie, baby, indeed. Hi, Val. Val, you enjoy HelloFresh. Why don't you tell the world? about it. Why don't you, why don't you tell the world how, how excellent of a deal it is? You don't have to. I'm sorry for putting you on the spot. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what I want to do today. Let's go look at my like Steam library. I was, I, I, I was looking through my Steam library before stream as well. I just don't freaking know. Um, yeah, I haven't been doing a lot lately. I, I, I should probably do couples craft dev here's the problem i don't want to <laughs> very much right now i'm a little i'm a little zonked out of it if, if, if you can't tell uh and i don't know i'm not in the mood for it like for for couples craft dev it's a very chill experience and i you know today's a chill day but it's it's not like that level of chill i don't know you don't want to i don't want to problem solve yeah duke's right i just want to i want a good old-fashioned experience i kind of not gonna lie i'm kind of in a half-life mood you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna play a half-life mod that i never played on stream this came out really recently actually and i played through it and i loved it i just never streamed it it was just something i played on my own time uh yeah let's play this this will be fun this is called half-life field intensity this is a newer mod for the game it's uh and mods if you don't know uh, a lot of people you know mods the, the definition of mod has changed since the half-life days back in half-life's era mod meant total conversion most of the time so this is a custom campaign it's it's set in the it's you know same 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 like you know world as regular half-life but um yeah it's a really neat mod it this plays a lot it's kind of like opposing force plus is how i would describe this mod it plays a lot with like the the uh the group system and and it's really neat uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's play this today. This will be fun. HelloFresh taught you to cook and help you start cooking for yourself. Yeah, no, seriously, I, cooking's so important. <laughs> if you don't know how to cook, like a few favorites, you gotta, you gotta. And, and, and HelloFresh is a good way to get into it. Uh, with no, with no, no worries, no, no pressure. Now we're gonna see some but Yeah, this is like a newer mod. For Half Life, it of course takes place, uh, you know, partway into the Resonance Cascade. We're playing. It's 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 uh, like when I say opposing force plus, you're playing as a military member in this as well. Ew, HD models. Ew, ew, get them out of here. I think the HD models might be mandatory for this. 
which is a huge shame. <laughs> I don't understand, like, okay, the HD models, one, don't even necessarily have that many more polygons in a lot of cases. And two, just have really, like, they're really bad. <laughs> like, a lot of the HD models for Half-Life are, they're not any, like, they're not, they are, a lot of the time they are higher poly, but like, they're, they're they are, so, it, it feels like, you know when you get like a, like a Minecraft HD texture pack? You know that? It doesn't, fe it feels out of place. It doesn't feel like it, 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 it flows with the rest of the game. And honestly, they don't like, they, they look very like, like porcelain-y? I'd have, if I, I don't know how to describe, okay, thank God. No, I have the, I have the MP5, we're good. Oh wait, I think I modded these in. <laughs> Please respond. Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, this has, uh, this is voice acting. And there's a story here. Please respond. Please respond. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of those, like, a fan just did all the, you know, all the voice acting. Oh, I gotta respond. Guess who's your radio operator, Stefan? Yeah, it's me. Your best buddy, Kevin. Oh, flawless. Flawless storytelling. According to the maps, the elevator should be nearby. It will get you to the lower floor. Level 3 dormitories. Excellent. But yeah, uh, not enough, like... I don't know, not enough Half-Life mods in my... In my yeah, humble... Oh, okay. <laughs> I kinda let the story go by. Hang on. I can cut through this with my torch. Man, I hate the door. Man! Oh, I love this. Maybe we can find the control panel and open those gates in a more civilized way? Just maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> You'd definitely be friends with a Kevin? I don't know. I've never met a Kevin, but I don't know if I trust him. Just like, uh, uh, you know, inherently, right? <laughs> but yeah, I, this is a, this is a very classic style Half-Life mod. It is not super complicated. They adjusted the, uh, the friendly AI a little bit, but other than that, it's a, it's a very, like, standard Half-Life mod. It's just, like, very well executed. Um, back in the day, Half-Life mods, everybody and their mommy wanted to make a mod that was, like, it, it was the Resonance Cascade from a different point of view. Myself included, by the way. I still have, like, a dream project of making one of my own. Um, and this is one of those, and it's it's very recent. And it's, it's like, wild how high quality this is. Just from, just from the, from, from the execution alone. A lot of Half-Life mods try and, you know, they try and do, they have a gimmick or something to, to make them stand out. This one doesn't need it. It just kind of feels like, an actual expansion to Half-Life. Obviously, stuff like the voice acting takes you out of it, and there, the story does not go in a way that I think is good. Uh, <laughs> it's a very, it's a very, like, uh, somebody who's not a, a, a writer by trade, and that's okay. What is this? Why is this clicking? Wait, Night Vision comes in two styles. What's the other style? Oh, the, I am using the different style. Yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, no, no. We're sticking with the Counter-Strike. We're sticking with the Counter-Strike Night Vision. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello? Hello? I haven't played this in ages, so I don't actually remember what to do. Turns out my friend Kevin serves as a radio man in our mission. He's someone I can always rely on. <laughs> Night Vision comes in two styles. Inventory. Okay, I don't know how to... Also, I definitely modded this MP5 in. If I scroll with the scroll wheel, you can see the M4 is on my HUD. Uh, or M16 or whatever the hell it is. Oh, hey! They got the gameplay down pretty well. Level design is the biggest, like, the highlight of uh, of this mod. It's The level design feels like Valve or Gearbox made. It's really impressive. I... Oh, is that power? We're gonna get lights? Yeah! The, uh, like... This doesn't feel like, a lot of fan projects don't feel like Black Mesa, you know? They don't feel like Half-Life. This really does. It nails that feeling. It's great. We, we going this way? We going this way? I thought, oh no, I gotta hit that button. I get it. What is this? This is a, uh, a Half-Life mod called Field Intensity. It's fairly new. It, it just came out recently. Ish. Recently-ish. Hi guys! Oh my 
my friends, the military. Follow the engineer into the elevator. Will do. Yeah, it's funny. This, like, tab menu is something that you get in, like, multiplayer Half-Life games, matches. That's, like, the scoreboard, and they, they, they remade it into, like, an objective marker for this in, like, a, a sort of like a journal. It's it's interesting. They're, the story here is, like, not top tier. But I appreciate the, you know, the effort regardless. Something about the hallways makes you feel like someone spilled Wolfenstein 3D into their half -life. What do you mean? Hang on, hang on. I gotta go see what you're talking about. It's loud in here. Oh, I got a little bunny hop going there. I actually gained some speed. With spacebar, mind you. I'm not using a uh, scroll wheel for that. Anyway. I don't know. This looks like Half-Life to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. Nope. <laughs> got a little bit of speed. Anyway. Take us down. I like the little shines on stuff to, to like show you you can interact with it. Remember the order, Stefan. No witnesses. Damn, that's cold. So no, another one you don't remember so well that was based on the X-Files. I don't know about that one. I know about USS Dark Star and They Hunger. Those are classics. Try to figure it out here, but you might have a better luck outside. Oh, this is cute too. You gonna... Maybe it can be fixed from the other side. Oldfield, use the hatch to get out and secure the area. I'll stay and try to yeah, come on. <laughs> it's your lines. I want to show the cool thing. Maybe it can be fixed from the Dude, what? Oh, maybe he doesn't. Never mind. For some reason, I thought he put his hands out and you used him as a platform. Maybe that happens later in, later, later, later in the game. I could have sworn that's what, what happened, but never mind. Whoop. Excuse me. Failure. But yeah, little stuff like this, like Half-Life always has locked doors with the vertical bars, with extremely few exceptions, and then the push bars are the unlocked side. And I'm pretty sure they do stuff like that. Like this, this feels very much like opposing force level design. Very, very gearboxy. You know, decent amount of detail in the hallways and such. You see, you see like, you see like actions happening through windows. Like that's a very gearbox thing to do. Uh, like that's a very Half-Life expansion style of presentation and the whole mod is like this and there's some really great set pieces later on anyways i'm talking about what will be let's just play it that's crazy this mod was made with love this mod was made but with love this this mod was made by, by somebody who like understands what the appeal of half-life is 100%. Oh, Jesus Christ! Get out of here. Oh, right! Knife has a right-click attack in this, too. Come here. We're gonna give you a stab. Oh, I missed! I missed! There we go. <laughs> yeah, they added a little stab to the knife. That wasn't an opposing force. All right. Yeah, I definitely, I <laughs> definitely modded the HD weapons out of this. <laughs> that was a Beretta on the ground. I just did the view models, not the world models. That's funny. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a woman of, uh, of simple tastes. Oh, okay, I lied. <laughs> they did the unlock side on the wrong side of the door. That's fine. Oh, hello. My These ladies are crazy. <laughs> I'm always saying this, bro. I think that was Gina Cross and Colette back there. I didn't see. I missed. I missed the the set piece, but I'm pretty sure that was a little reference. This is loud. This is loud. This is loud. Hang on. That's a little too much Half Life for me. That's better. I don't need these lights on. Oh. Man, I love playing Half-Life. <laughs> I've been, like, meaning to play some Half-Life lately, and I just kind of haven't. This feels good. This, this, this is where I belong. This is where I belong. But yeah, this section here reminds me a lot of, um... Oh, God, what is it? I think, um... 
It's not called Blue Shift. It's uh, Sh Shepherd something. It's the, it's the one with the girl, Barney. I don't remember what the hell that mod was called. Al, Al, not, what was it called? I don't know, somebody will know it in chat, but yeah, very, very, very much kind of gives that atmosphere. Lesbians. I'm pretty sure either Gina or Colette was supposed to be Gordon Freeman's wife. <laughs> According to like uh, one of the writers, I can't remember which one said it. I, I literally learned that yesterday. There was like a Reddit thread of all things. I'm sorry. But of all things, there was a Reddit thread in there. Like, oh, what's some Half-Life tidbits of knowledge you have? Apparently supposed to be Gordon's wife. Hello, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, where do I go? Open these. I can't open these. Cute. <laughs> you don't see uh, little intera interactives in, in Gold Source games very often. It's nice when they do add them. It's not hard to add. I don't know why not a lot of mo mo uh, map makers add it, but. None of these doors work. None of these doors work. <laughs> Where do I go? Can I just like squeeze back through here? Oh, I can. <laughs> I thought I was blocked. Hi, what's up? What's up? Show me where, where are we going? No, come with me. We're going. We gotta, we gotta kill the aliens. There's nothing like a good old fashioned kill the alien story. I break this? Nope. Come on, we gotta kill the aliens. Do this way. CL Bob Zero, not happening. Not happening. Go play your own Half Life if you're gonna tell. If you're gonna tell me how to play mine. Warning, main power Wait, have, we've been this way, haven't we? I'm getting lost. Excuse me, I'm getting lost. Oh yeah, apparently I didn't know that. I've been playing Half-Life literally since I was like 12. Apparently if you tap the strafe buttons, you go faster. Oh my God, you totally do. Oh my God, you totally do. I had no idea about this. Is this blue shift? No, no, no. So this is uh, Half-Life field intensity. I should probably change the... I wonder if field intensity has its own game cat. It does not. Uh, this is Half-Life field intensity. It's a recent-ish Half-Life mod that is really high quality. All right, I found out where to go. I love how they use the classic opposing force lines and then they like jump into the the, the brutal fan mod. Crunchy Mike taking it's great. CL Bob a thousand? Alright. <laughs> I'll see that. Ten thousand even. Oh beautiful. Now this is how I want to play my Half-Life. <laughs> right. Oh god, what's the default? Just one? Nope. Oh god, wait. Uh oh. I don't know what the what it's supposed to be. Uh oh. What's hang on. <laughs> What's the default? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it, uh, zero point one? Oh no. Oh no. Uh Well, <laughs> guess we're, guess we're, I guess that person got their wish. We're using CL Bob Zero after all. Oh, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Gave him a limp. It's 0 0.01. Thank you. That's better. That's much better. One shot, one kill, he says after unloading like five shots into it after it was already dead. Oh, I love Half-Life. It's been too long. I got to turn this back up now because I made it too quiet. No, it doesn't tell you the default if you leave out the variable. No, it doesn't. It autofills it with what it, uh, what you have it set to. Can I leave? Can I, can I exit? I fucking hate... Oh, hang on. Yeah. 
I hate the night vision <laughs> in Half-Life. This isn't the mod maker's fault. In fact, I, I really appreciate them adding the Counter-Strike night vision, which is slightly better. But I hate the night vision. I Just give me the flashlight. Give me the shitty gold source flashlight, please. Uh, where are we taking this? Where are we taking this box for this box puzzle? Good burp, darling. <laughs> Duke just let out a monster burp. One up here? Yes, indeed we are. I like the the zombie like extra models. That's like out of out of all the things that uh cuz cuz Half-Life mods they all tend to go the same little route, right? The soldier zombies, you know, they'll add like they'll add variants of the zombie model. They'll add Maybe a couple extra guns. One thing I've, I, like, a lot of the stuff I'm like, all right, you don't need this, but the, the extra zombie models I've always had a soft spot for. Fucking launch that box. Oh, that's a, that's a good old fashioned. That's a, that's a gold source staple right there. But yeah, like the level design in this is so good that you don't even notice it. Like, it, it is very Half-Life. It just feels like I'm playing a Half-Life expansion. It's great. Whee! Was that it? Was it just a little secret? Take it into here. Yeah, I take it into there. Okay. Come with me. Oh, hang on. Oh boy. I don't know why the boxes do that in Gold Source games. It, it's, it's if you don't know, if you haven't played, it's it's when you hold E on a box. You can move it side to side, which was I think the intended like thing. It like slows your character down and you can move it side to side. But if you move it, like the box goes mega speed and it also like drag you with it if you do it right. Which is a, a very common speedrunning tactic, but I don't know why that happens. Oh, they got the ropes. The ropes, which are super broken and high FPS. Oops. Ow. Be careful, man. Hang on, I wanna. Oh shit, can I go back up? I wanna show this up. Please. Please. <laughs> So something about hang on, we're gonna we're gonna s SV cheats one, we're gonna save and load, and then we're gonna no clip up. Something really funny about the ropes in Half-Life, uh, in the expansions anyways, these are connected to the frame rate in the weirdest way ever. It's backwards. Every other game, if you increase the frame rate, things go faster. But watch, if I uh if I do FPS max 30, playing at 30 FPS. Look, the normal rope. It's got like physics. This is real. This is, you can go boot up opposing force and go see this right now. Like the ropes have actual physics. It's really wild to see. All right, this is gonna make me sick. Hang on, boop that back up. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's tied to the frame rate, but backwards. I, I don't know. Also does that thing with the box with the with the sample that caused the resonance cascade. Yeah, anything you can push, anything you can push will uh, will send you flying. It's wild the gearbox made ropes. Yeah, just considering this game came out like I think the expansions came out in '99 or 2000. Like that's crazy. That is like actual fizz. Like that's a good looking rope when you lower the frame rate. Like that's a believable rope. It's wild that they got like physics to that degree in a in a game that came out two in the engine that came out two years after Quake. Wild. Yeah, I, even when I was like a kid, those ropes didn't work properly because like even my shitty netbook. I mean, half the time it ran the game at fifteen frames per second, but like even back then, when I was around the ropes, at least I could I could get the frame rate to a decent you know number. So I figure probably most people don't know about the rope thing. Hello! Okay, I'll secure this area. I hope the... I, I'm really sorry. I hope the um, the night vision isn't bothering anybody's eyes. Let's get the hell out of here! Let's get the hell out of here! I'm trying to, like, limit my use of it, but there's only so much I can do. Where'd the other guy go? 
that gold source fast box pushing was also an FPS related bug. <gasps> is it? That makes a lot of sense. That makes like perfect sense. That would explain so much. If I find a box, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Another thing that's tied to the FPS is um, if you if you raise your FPS, enemies will like turn slower, specifically turning. So if you ever like played Half-Life and Head Crab seen like a non-threat, it's because they're they tend to spawn facing away from you in that game, and the time it takes to turn to you is increased tenfold with your frame rate. I would love to, you know what? I would love to see somebody like make a fix. I wonder if Zash 3D has these bugs, actually. Zash 3D, if you don't know, is like the third party gold source, uh, like remade engine, like rebuilt from the ground up. I wonder if it has those, these bugs. I don't know. Did I just open? Wait, what? Oh, this door, obviously. Power is off in this area. I hate power generators. Dude, I'm always saying this. I hate power generators. Oh, it's dark in here. Jesus Christ! Shoot, he's burst firing with the Desert Eagle. We need to find a box so I can test this box pushing thing. I bet you it is like a, a, a frame rate thing. That makes perfect sense. All right, follow the wires. Well, that barricade is way too thick. True. That barricade is way too thick. Me looking at my ass in the mirror. Oh, almost got him. Did that guy do a shockwave attack? Is that new? That might be part of the mod. <laughs> I, saw, ah! I saw a little shockwave happen there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to leave that guy in that room. Wait, what? I, I swear that this was like physics based. I swear that I like ran into this and it didn't, it like stopped halfway and then I pushed it the rest of the way. I don't know. That's weird. See that? I don't think is po I'm, I'm, I probably just saw it wrong. There we go. God, I hate <laughs> the picture so much. If it was any other color, it wouldn't be so bad. Like, give me, give me, give me, give me blue night vision. I'd be into that. With my, like, theoretical uh, Half-Life mod idea that I want to make someday, I'm adding blue night vision. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm adding it to the list if I ever make it. No, I've had the idea for my own Half-Life, like, alternate point of view mod for the longest time. I, uh, if I were to make it, the idea would be that you play as, like... Because, like, Half-Life's entire story is is just going deeper into Black Mesa and seeing the, 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 the ethically dubious shit that they're up to the further you go down, right? And as a kid, I always just kind of made the, the mental connection, like, Black Mesa probably makes weapons, right? Like, they've got rockets stashed around. The military is there before the game starts. I feel like they got military contracts paying the bills. And so I, I my mod idea would, I would, I want to make like a, a, a Half-Life mod where you play from the point of view as like a cybernetically enhanced like super soldier that they're making down deep. And instead of like, you know, Half-Life 1's progression is going deeper into the facility, this would be backwards. You'd be trying to get out. From the from like the depths, you're like deep in there. Um, but yeah, it had like a bunch of fun stuff. Like the MP5 would be replaced with like an arm-mounted submachine gun, because I think that's fun. Real finger like guns, naturally. I don't know if this is ever something I'll do, because I've got so many other game ideas that I want to do more than this that are like in the way. And then also working with Gold Source is just a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Because I've tried. I, I tried to start this up a long time ago, back before I knew anything about game development. And I, 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 I gave up on it pretty quick, but Gold Source is not easy to work with. Like, Christ, your map won't even compile 50% of the time because there's like too many polygons on a, on a, on a, on a pole that you, that you made. But I'd be sick, not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I think it'd be really cool. I think it'd be a lot of fun. 
I had a little design document like stashed away somewhere. Um, it's not it's not around anymore, and it didn't have a lot of stuff in it, but it had a couple like boss design ideas, a couple weapon ideas. It's in the it's in the it's in the old brain cell. It's in the old brain cell. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Oh. Wait, this is actually a rope. I <laughs> I got caught in the gar the barnacle. On the garbagle. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I can just, like, drop here. Jesus Christ. God, I love Half-Life 1's clock so much. It's so satisfying. Oh, shoot! Are you on my side? Nope. Dude, open. What? There we go. Yeah, the Half-Life 1 Glock is like all-time favorite video game weapons. It's up there. Hot pink night vision. That sound- Oh! Snarks is an enemy! Snarks is an enemy! Oh, fuck! Don't do this to me! I'm moving. I'm leaving. I'm done. Oh god, it's this is a dead end. They're so fucking small. They are. The little fuckers. I don't want. Whoa. I always thought Snarks were the funniest and like most useless. Uh... Oh, I'm like almost at a MP5 ammo. I thought they were the funniest and most like useless enemy in Half Life One. Or sorry, weapon. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, you never fight them as an enemy, but if you throw them out, like, you, you're gonna fight them as an enemy. Some people will swear by them and be like, oh, yeah, no, they, they, they're totally, hang on. Oh, I thought those would explode. Some people swear by them and are like, no, 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 seriously, the snarks are great. Like, you gotta use them smart. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm telling you, there's not a single, single point in Half-Life. Please die. Where, where snarks are more useful than, like... Just shooting them in the head. Excellent. Ooh. Scary. I don't know if that was like a horror stinger or if that was... Okay, yeah, is this music? I don't remember there being music in this mod. This is music. Consider they're so little guys. They are so little guys is the thing. Is this like a unique song? Or is this used somewhere else in a Half-Life? Because this sounds very Half-Life. I don't think I recognize it. That's a fun little secret area. It was just a little, little custom song. That's nice. Hang on, I can make this. Hey! Get out of here! I don't like that! You can ambushes. But, like, th this is what I mean with the level design. Like, they're using ambushes in the same way Half-Life just does. Hang on. No, I gotta, I gotta, is, am I doing this right? I feel like I'm not doing this right. You gotta side strafe to get in here. Hang on. Oh, come on. You gotta do a little side strafe. Oh, nope, I ain't enough speed. Hang on. You like, do you, like, you used to like saving them? Oh, oh, you're talking about Deus Ex Invisible War. Uh, spider bot grenades and Invisible War, and they're kind of garbage until the Antarctic levels. <laughs> Their little poison raptors can't hurt them. Oh, hell yeah. I never played Invisible War. I tried. I just can't get into it. It's It's got too much, like, original Xbox game jank <laughs> uh, for me to, like, really enjoy it. I want to play it, though. I recently tried playing it on Steam Deck. 
because I figured that would be like a good because it was it was made for the Xbox, you know, like controller style gameplay, but it just didn't work for me. I think this is just a little. I think this is just a little fuck you room. I think I just went up here to get shot. <laughs> what a terrible place. The radio doesn't work anymore, and these monsters seem to wait around every other corner. Played it a lot because Deus Ex was a hyper focus for you as a kid. Heck yeah. I didn't play much Deus Ex as a kid. Half Life was my big thing. But, now, but like these days, I, 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 I greatly enjoy me some Deus Ex. Is that. Can I, is this a path? I think this is just set dressing. Yeah, that looks like a dead end to me. Um. Um, I don't know where to go. And I'm sure I can't drive this. Yeah. Can't go through here. Can't go through here. You played through it once. It's not as bad as its reputation. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, it's not as bad as people like tend to make it out to be. Where'd I go? Uh, it's, it's, it's just, yeah, I, I, it, it, it's not even like, I'm not even against the game design changes, right? Like, I, I get it. It's, it's, it, they were making a console game. They obviously had to dumb some stuff down. Obviously, you know, not all those choices were great, but whatever. It's literally just the, the, the core, like, moment to moment gameplay just feels too clunky to me. I don't know what to do. I'm sure I can't press any of these. I feel like I have to, can I blow these up? Okay. <laughs> probably should have. Probably should have noticed the big explodey sign on those, huh? That's on me. Is that a custom wheelchair asset? No, that's from uh, that's from Half Life uh, 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 Decay with uh, Gina and Colette. That's I don't remember his name. It's not Doctor Rosenberg, right? That's Blue Shift. It's 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 the doctor from Decay. He's got a wheelchair. It's just that that model without the guy in it. You only played the, uh, you played through the original Deus Ex Town and only touched Invisible War once, which I think says a lot. Yeah. Doesn't Invisible War, like, oh, hey, doesn't it have a lot of, um, what's the word? Like, less replayability, like, not as much, like, build creation as the original Deus Ex, because, like, oh, oh, Christ. Oh, there's two! Ah! Ah! I can't open the door. Okay. We're good. You know it's familiar, it's only Half-Life you haven't touched. I haven't played through it either. I, I'm waiting for, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm waiting for Solo Mission to come out. Um, Cause it just looks great. But yeah, I haven't played through Decay either. I, I, what was that sound? I've been meaning to. But yeah, I'm gonna wait till Solo Mission comes out. I, there's like a, a way to play it single player. You like swap between Gina and Colette, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. Soda, please. Oh, this is not how the soda machines are supposed to be modeled. Somebody messed up. Oh, uh, I sure hope somebody got fired for this blunder. Oh, God. Oh, the green to the blue there. I really wish I just had a flash. <laughs> Little sneeze for a hundred. Oh, Jiggleson, thank you for the hundred bits. I'm sorry. I, I don't think my, uh, I don't think hundred bits shows up on stream. Unless it did and I just missed it. I don't know. Build creation's a lot lower in uh, Invisible War, but there's also a gun that shoots through walls and x-ray efficient. <laughs> cool. To be fair, both of those are in Human Revolution too. A soldier. Hi! Saved at last. Wait a minute, and I'll let you in. Sure! Crypto Boy, I think we'll follow. <laughs> nice one, idiot! Do you read me? At last, I've managed to establish the connection. I see you reach the biolab. Bad news. Gordon Freeman is on the other end of Sector E, pretty far from you. But there might be other scientists in this area that need to be checked down. True. <laughs> Hi. My job is to kill you. Sorry. <laughs> Literally stabbed him in the back. Sorry, just doing my job. You know, it's like I don't got a choice in the matter. Oh, I keep turning. <gasps> it's Gary. It's Gary's man. 
Get him. It's Gus Fring. <laughs> it's a peaceful death. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just like choked to death on the blood from the next stab, like peacefully. In here? Yes. This is the circle. So do you think Kevin is work husband material? Um, Some of the facility staff don't realize the true purpose of the mission. They believe the military is here to rescue them. That can actually come in handy since I'm now cut off from the rest of the squad. Uh, I'm gonna stab this bull squid to death. <laughs> no stabbing. I've, I don't think I've ever been hit by the bull squid's melee attack before. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Kevin House Husband material? I don't know. He's in the military, so like... You know, that immediately loses points. Because he's a little boot boy. Gotta remember that like, you know, if we're following the cannon here, we're also a little boot boy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bunny hop. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Quit it! You're alive? There you go. I like this. This is like a mirrored version of the HEV suit room. I want it. I want the clean suit. This is cute. I'm like getting low on ammo. I'm I'm being a little waste, a little wasteful uh, Wenda with my bullets. Oh, Jesus Christmas. How'd you hit me from there? All right, I imagine that's the door I could have opened if I didn't stab that guy in the back. There we go. Nope, okay. Snacks. We're gonna drink soda till we get to 100. And then we make sure nobody gets soda ever again. Oh, oh, we're getting some speed. <laughs> all space bar, baby, all space bar. I've seen the half of AI voice thing that Gur was doing on Tumblr. I did see that, yeah. I was shocked it was AI, which is like a terrifying concept in the first place that, that you know, AI, I mean, we all knew it was going to get here, but the fact that AI can get so good that it is indiscernible from a real person. I was like having a, a, a debate with Duke. I was insisting that was not AI at first, but it was. Oh yeah, the, I can do the... <laughs> I can do the, the wiggly strafe thing to go faster. I keep forgetting. Again, I didn't know that about this <laughs> until literally the other day. Same place I learned about the Jean across or Colette Green, whichever one it was, like Gordon being Gordon Freeman's wife thing. Supposed to be. It's not it's not canon at the moment, but it was supposed to be. They just couldn't fit it in, apparently. Can I press this? Nope. Sophie insisting that Holly was AI and Gers AI is voice work. Love the W's. I did not insist that Holly was AI. You what? said that Dr. Coomer was AI. I didn't. No, no, hang on. I that You are misrepresenting what happened. Okay, back when Half-Life VR AI was first happening. I saw a clip on Tumblr and it was just labeled Half-Life, but the AI is self-aware. And it was specifically the clip where Wayne goes up to the one scientist in the corner. And I can't even remember what they said. It was like, they were saying like single line, single words at a time. And I'm pretty sure they were quoting actual scientist lines. And so I was just like, oh, this is just a fun little mod where they react to like, voice commands and follow the player. Like I literally watched a quarter of the clip. I didn't finish it. And Duke to this day insists that I was certain that, oh yeah, Holly's AI, Holly's not real. That's not what happened. 
I didn't even know the word. You, you used the word Dr. Coomer. I didn't even know who Dr. Coomer was. Open the entrance back down the corridor. Clean environment is a healthy environment. Duke. I love you. <laughs> you gonna open the door? I, I'm not gonna lie, I did not hear him. Rich scientist in the room, I can do that. Jesus, jump scare. I don't die, jump scare. Someone's here should be somewhere in Biolabs, but I've lost contact with them recently. So you're on your own, mate. You are on your own, mate. If any of the cast were self-aware, AI would be Holly. That's fair. Am I supposed to go this way? There's a lot of doors that I can't access. Hang on, hang on. Emotional. This one maybe? Yes. God, it's so dark. I have to use the night vision. I, listen, I'm here to praise this mod all day. I genuinely think this is a fantastically well-made mod. Turn up the brightness, dude. Turn on a lamp. I want to turn, I don't want to be green all day. Hi, Lord Slam Apple. <laughs> oh wait, I don't go this way. Oh, I know what this is for actually. This is a, this is for a jump up. For a jump up. There you go. I know your tricks, game. Override accepted. I got electrocuted. Oh, I can't go back up that way. Also, props to the mod maker for remembering to make the tra the trams tram rails electrified. All the time, even in like original Half Life, there's some tra tram rails that just aren't electrified. They're so picky with it. I'm of the opinion if there's a tram rail, it's got to be electrified, unless like you explicitly show the power being destroyed. So what did my security override do? <laughs> Let's see, I went in here, I pressed the button. Oh, it opened this. You fucker. It only hurt when you pee on it. I shoot a piss blast so powerful it floats me into the- Ah, go narc! That's not what it's called. What are these guys called again? I feel like it starts with a G. Why did I say Gonark? Wait, wait, what are these guys calling it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's, um... Oh man, what are they called? They have a name. I don't remember, Big Zombie. I'm sorry, I forget the name. Damn, I'm slipping. I'm not a true half, I'm a fake Half-Life fan. They are called friends. Not true. That guy kill and steal my lunch money this time once. Yeah, I know the Gonark is the big ball sack head crab. I'm pretty sure it starts with a G, though. I gotta Google it. Big zombie. Big zombie. Uh, Bell, thank you for the raid. Hello! We're playing a Half-Life mod right now. Hang on. I forget the name of the fucking big zombie. Big zombie and opposing force. What's it called? Hang on. Go Gnome! No, that's not it. I, yeah, it is. Go gnome. That's why I said go narc. Hey, I think that that's pretty good. Not, not too far off. Get out of here. We're playing the field intensity right now. If you haven't seen this, it's a very, very, thank you. Very well made Half-Life mod uh, that I never played on stream. I just played it off stream and I, I like really enjoy it. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know why I never played it. So now I'm, I'm remedying this. Chomp chomp. Give me the snark. Wah! I forgot they had green snarks in this. I don't remember what these do. This is a custom weapon. I don't know what it does, but it's my best friend. Little green schnapps. Going home is the big one. Yeah, that's the big one that we just saw. What do you do, little man? Oh, nibble, nibble, what do you do? 
No, don't attack me. You're, you haven't even blown up yet. What are you doing? Ah! Large explosive. <laughs> this little man had C4 for breakfast. I'm going to just do that and get out of here. <laughs> so it's a super, super shenomsis in that case. I'm gonna wait for oh god, the torch open! Okay, we're good. Jesus Christ. That's fun. What do you got for me? The hole! This is probably like a little. See, this is good level design. This is probably a little like hole to test your new snarks in. I'm going to go ahead and just back way the fuck off. <laughs> I haven't even woken the second one hasn't even woken up. I think it just bit there. Oh my god, it killed everything in here. It's a massive explosion. 488, 448 even follow. That's a I'm not gonna lie. That's not a good username. <laughs> That's not true. That's mean. I'm sorry. 4484. I'm sorry. My husband's be okay, I'm sorry. My husband's I don't mean to be rude. That's just numbers. Oh, that there. Well, there's the. Oh my god, I can't remember anybody's name. Gargantuan. That's what you're called. They all have G names. I've never. No I've never noticed this until now. They all have G names. IBS snark. <laughs> World's cruelest streamer. I'm sorry. Listen. All right, I got a bias. You know, I get I get hate rated occasionally, and I I got I gotta like watch out for the scary names. Soda Pop Station. See, there's a, there's a, there's a trustworthy username right there. I don't gotta go, I don't gotta look at that and be like, oh, I wonder if this person's, uh, was, was from a bot raid. Like, I don't know, this, this, that's, that's, of course. That's Soda Pop Station. Everybody, everybody loves Soda Pop Station. You've heard of parasocial relationships with the streamer. I'm about to create a parasocial relationship with, I'm about to have y'all. Give y'all a parasocial relationship with this one chatter. Everybody loves Soda Pop Station. <laughs> Sorry, Soda Pop Station. You just you just you just walked into a bit. I, I I don't mean to 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 put you in the spotlight here. Where we go? I'm confused. The guy was there. I'm supposed to reach the sign. Well, there's there's bad guys this way, so I assume I assume we just go this way. Well, we've been here. Oh, shh. Is this okay? That was a loading screen. No, this is like... I feel like we came from here, right? Well, there's a head crab. So maybe not. Maybe we, have, maybe we didn't come from here. Maybe this is the path. No, we've definitely been here. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I think... Did I go backwards, though? Gamma! Wait, I think this might be where I have to go. Maybe not. Oh, I have to lead the guy here. I remember. I remember. Because I've I played through this before. i got to lead the guy here. Then we go to the Gamma. Like from Eggman's Robots. Pick the username when you were 10. I'm sorry. 448844. I'm sorry. I don't I you know what? We've all been plagued with a bad username, bad email. It's all good. It's not actually a bad username. I apologize. I was I was I was overly harsh. Oh, go kill that guy. This is gonna go great, I think. But hey, hey, bled. It bled. There was blood. Hey, go, go get him. Go get him. Those guys are regular ones, so they're not gonna do much. In the meantime, where the hell do I meet the scientist? He wasn't in his room. Sorry for the delay. You had to verify your account. That's okay. Oh, you, well, you are still in here. Okay, so there's a security door that way. 
Dude, that doesn't do anything. I see. I see. What the hell is this? Does this spit out the giant exploding ones? I think it does. Oh god. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Hey, that worked! Gotta take cover, all right. There we go, hi. Okay, let's head Escort the scientist to the game. Okay, okay, we remember where this is. I'll wait. And then I'll come. Only in the last two years have you gotten away from your OG Adventure Quest username. Nice. My old original username was stupid26. So like, I, I feel you. <laughs> No, we go this way. Yes, this way. Still plagues your email? Yeah, I... It sucks that you, like, once you have an email, you can't really do anything about it. Whoa! Like, what are you gonna, like, com like, oh, Jesus Christ, watch out to... No, they killed him! <laughs> Jesus Christ, they, they, they eviscerated the man. Um, Stupid 26 is the opposite username thing. Maybe we should go back to it. Oh boy. Nope. 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 Oh, ah! Okay. <laughs> we got it. Oh Your first and only RuneScape account was named Stupidasso, and it was the funny shit ever. That is a good username. Stupidasso. Oh. Well, this is no good. Well, we have to take a here. Oh, this guy's AI. That was an AI voice. Take me this way. Man. Robot man? Get this under control. Hey! Cat! Skeleton Hotel, thank you the five dollars! Skeleton underscore hotel donated five dollars. Snark funds. Thank you so much! Hey, just matter, we got uh, song requests on. Y'all can still, like, plug those in if you want. There ain't too much music going on here. We can all jam out. Get back! Dude. Hello? <laughs> I swear to God, some of those shells just like painted a perfect picture of misses around their head. Where'd you go? Ah! Was it on my head? I got turned into head for zombie. You thought your username was fun to say? Panda to Panda is fun, fun to say though. No, you got no problems there. Can I, like, break the- how do I get you to fall on me? Goodness. My goodness. Not this way. Not this way. I guess we just do this and then come back for him. This, this is probably where we stop the- oh, shit. Oh, hey, I shot you! You're not allowed to shoot after I shoot you! Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, like, out of ammo, out of ammo. I'm, like, out of ammo, out of ammo. I gotta, like, start picking my shots here. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub to, to Soda Pop Station! <laughs> God, though, like... Oh, okay, you know what? I, now I'm really got egg on my face. I was talking about earlier how they put the doors in the right direction, but no, this is backwards. This should be the unlocked side. Half play from Melee Run. Don't even... Don't... I, I never... Never. Star Swifted, thank you for, <laughs> for gifting us up to 48844. Thank you. I'm sorry for being mean about your username, 48844. In my defense, genuinely thought you might have been a raid, like a, a bot raid at first. And then no more came in after, and I was like, ah, a little egg on my face. Four is fine, all right. Let me in. I need a security card. Oh, hey, we're on the other side. Freaking ace shooting. I'm unstoppable. I got perfect aim. Check seven to 
Cheers! Oh, Pizza Tower OST, hell yeah. My God, what are you doing? Jax donated $10. Whoa, pizza be upon ye. I want pizza. I tried to do pizza recently. It was like a... Like a sweet chili pizza. It was really good. It was like a... Like a, just an oven pizza, but it was, it was really yummy. Like a sweet chili sauce, I guess. And I dipped it in some cheese sauce, too. It was really good. Oh, but... There we go. Hey, there we go! Hey! Yeah, you come with me. Oh, you're just... You're just on your own. Fascinating. I never suspected such things could be. It... This is a maintenance hall. Also, the song's not playing. Hang on. Yeah, no, I know. They're not... It's not playing. Yeah, give me a sec. There we go. Let's go! Can you finagle this? I don't even think you can go up the stairs. Wait, where'd you go? Let's go. There we go. Take me to the Gamma Labs! I gotta play Pizza Tower. Dude, come on. <laughs> Let's go! Well, that's good. <laughs> Holy shit, this fucking slaps. That's some good ass tunes. Oh, Jesus. I don't have the ammo for this. I'm literally down to like the pistol. I don't, I don't have ammo for this. Give me that. Give me that high hand. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. Now we got infinite ammo. We're good. Beautiful. All right. We're good now. Can I take this too? <laughs> Let me just like tickle my enemies with this feather. This is good. This is good alien killing music. Oh, goo. Shotgun ammo too. Nice. This song has forced you to order pizza. Yeah, I think Pizza Tower is just like one big conspiracy from Big Pizza to get everybody to start ordering pizza. It's kind of fuck. It's kind of fuck if you think about it. It's kind of criminal. Man, there. Oh, 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 I my my bullet my bullet hopes have been answered. My prayers, my bullet prayers. I got all sorts of gun now. Examine one of the suits. Okay. What do you got? Great. The suits have tracking devices. Oh, this is cute. That's cute. They're working in the plot. I forgot about this. What if I ordered some HelloFresh out or a pizza from HelloFresh? I, I don't. I mean, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> I got my HelloFresh box this month. I don't. I mean, I could. You're going to get tranquilized. You're going uh, to get tranquilized. Uh, get tranquilized. The music fucking rules. Hey, oh, here's a. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, so I was under the impression Pizza Tower was some sort of platformer. Apparently, it's like a WarioWare type game. What? What is? What is Pizza Tower? Can't wait for the scene where you write your dead Freeman on the wall. Yeah, both? What kind of game? What, what What? even is Pizza Tower? Oh. Wario Land. Land, not WarioWare. Oh, okay. Wait, that's very specific. Why, like, Wario Land 4? 
Jesus fucking Christ! I mean, I haven't played Wario Land 4, so, you know, maybe that's just the most apt description. Dude! Stop! <laughs> Why there so many of these guys? It's a fast-paced platformer type. Neat. The movement's very Wario-esque. Okay. Fair enough. You get abilities from enemy? Wait, really? That's cool. I'm gonna play this thing. What the heck? All the demons and ghouls attack Sophie right now. You don't gotta, like, command it to make it happen. It's already happening. Jax, give me the five dollars! Jax donated five dollars. Hurry up. Ah! I don't wanna hurry! Oh god! This Half-Life music play! Okay. Okay. Oh, this is... This is very fast music. Fuck. I don't know what to do. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, this is... This music has a lot of... This music is a lot. This is gonna make me play suboptimally because I just have to go. I'm just like letting the music flow through me. There we go. Not now, Kevin. I feel like you just gave me a shot of adrenaline in real life. I just blacked out. I just had to go. <laughs> I just had, I just had to, I couldn't even, I couldn't see. You've heard of seeing red, time for seeing green. <laughs> Fuck. Was that also Pizza Tower? That was. I gotta play Pizza Tower. Good as hell. Get out of here. I killed that guy way too much. <laughs> that was a super kill. Oh, hey guys! I almost super killed you too. Your team, teamwork. Everybody, everybody work together. Good to see you. Oscar Squad was supposed to help us push through this mess, but it looks like they've gotten into trouble. Shh, is coming in great numbers. All I want is to get my hands around Freeman's throat. It's not what you sounded like two seconds ago. Fight these aliens instead. 
true. Yes, sir. All right, we got a five person squad. Oh. This gun doesn't work. Oh God, I gotta save the squad. All right. Oh God, no one's dead. Medic, you gotta save him. Medic, come on. No, he had a family, he had a wife, he had a wife and a dog. A dog. He's a favorite dog. He was a favorite. Dog doesn't like the wife all that much. So he's his favorite of the dog. He's dead now. Better bring him back. Well, we tried. We did our darndest, chat. We did our due diligence. Shit. Okay. All right, four-person squad. Let's move out. <laughs> Grenade. More door. More freaking guys. Tranquilize. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Jesus Christ. Medic, patch us up. Oh God, I'm like fucked up too. Medic, I need some juice. No. Please. Please, I'm made of I'm made of meat. I'm just meat. I can't handle bees. Okay, I can't get healed. All right. Fuck me, I guess. Oh my god! I what hit me? I died. It's all your fault. Oh no, he said no. He shook his head. And he's no. He's like, no, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Don't blame me. Did they like up the damage of the Vortigaunts for this section or something? So I'm getting, I'm kind of getting, eat, I'm get, kind of getting chewed up. I might also just be getting shot by my teammates. I am walking like in the line of fire now that I think about it. Oscar squad was supposed to open them on the other side. Yet well, Oscar squad doesn't know how to do parkour. I am your your helpful ninja from the shadows. Find a way around. True. Got any ideas? Jesus Christ. I'm a natural born alien. I didn't have a chance. It appears Freeman is not the only pain in our butts. I'm always saying this. Here, have a have a box. But like I love this level design. I love the verticality of it. Like this does not feel like a mod. It's so fun. It's so good. It's really, really genuinely like fantastic. Really well done. And like, I love this set piece where you get like the big old squad and you just get to fight through a bunch of guys. Are you bad? Turn off. And the power button. Where's my squad man? I can't fit. But yeah, God, Half-Life just, like, feels so good to play. It's so smooth. That's a lot of bugs. It's so smooth. Just, whoa. Like, smooth is really the only way I can describe it. Like, I don't know. I feel like every action happens as I want it to. Okay, here's a good example of, like, what I mean. Like, how, how it feels to play Half-Life. Have you ever, like, played a game that has mouse smoothing with the look? And you turn off, and you, tur you turn on raw mouse input, right? It feels like all of Half-Life is like raw mouse input. But for, for every action of the game. It's smooth. It's buttery. It listens to what you're trying to, trying to tell it to do. You know what I mean? How do I progress? Aha! Thought I tried that door. 
That head crab just missed. I was here. It, it went nowhere near me there. Oh, this is this is the this is the bad steam room. Oh Christ! Uh. Gumby! Thank you for the gumby. Mindful donated I... four dollars and twenty cents. Pizza. I think I just found the zyme drug from from from. Oh no! Here's a pizza song. I think I just found zyme from like Deus Ex. Is that what it's called? Zyme? Zyme? The little vial drug. This is Pizza Tower, right? Ah, oh, I almost got, I almost got squished. There we go. Zyme, I got it right. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Queer Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feeling? We're playing Pizza Tower, I think. Jesus Christ! Go to sleep. Tranquilize the turret. I don't need to use this. For a Cheesy on my feet and some sauce on my balls. Where's the Where's the crew? Where are they? Did they all die. They might have done a die. God, the music's getting fast. It's getting fa Oh no, they did all die. There's the music's getting faster, and <laughs> I don't want another episode. <laughs> Jesus, they're all they're all dead. I was gone for five minutes. Jesus, I'm being yes, it's also the bubbles. It's got another COVID-19 booster and pneumonia vaccine, so your arm hurts, but you're gonna be more powerful soon. Hell yeah, good on you for doing your due diligence. Where the hell? Did I come from? I like came from a door and it's gone now. I've lost the door. I think this is where it was. Okay. Squad's gone. Did I just go this way then? Oh. This would be a yes. Technically that song is in Pizza Tower 2. Wait, what? Can they do that? I guess that's... Is that song, uh... Is that song like Creative Commons? Is that the word? See through the rail system. Okay. Jesus, there's a lot of dead guys here. And they're not even Allens. Oh my god, Gary's mad. Oh my god, it's Pizza Tower! He's calling for a pizza! It's public domain. That's the word I was looking for. I didn't know that. They've been saying cheesy on my peanut and some sauce on my balls for, for, for as long as time can remember. Nope. Ah! Missed. Jesus. That's it? Okay. I think real life should have more tram sections. I mean, I think they do if you live in, like, Europe, but... <laughs> that was a big ammo box. Is this just an ammo room? Okay, well, thank you. Where I go? You know, for, for a stream that has had a lot of where do I goes... Gotta say, pretty solid amount of forward momentum also going. You wanna ride trains? I think we all just kinda wanna ride trains, ultimately. Like really, if you distill us down to what matters, I wanna ride trains. Get out of here. Why is this glowing? <laughs> hey, Jack, save me the $5 for more pizza! Pizza continues. Oh, I think I just opened the door. I get it. I just... I, just, I don't know if y'all were listening. I think I just stepped on like 16 cockroaches at once. I think they were eating the body. I think they literally were doing the thing where they go around corpses. This is the song. 
This is the cheesy on my peenie song. This rock's not in the ball. It's so dark down here. <laughs> You are. I heard a hound eye. I was looking for it. It's like running around yapping. Oh, just come back! Stop playing! Run around the table with me! Christ! It's like trying to play tag with like a sibling. You've never ridden on a train and that's a crime against yourself? I don't think I've ridden. Oh, that's a lie. Sky train. Uh, Vancouver has a sky train. Everybody's written on that. Ridden on that if you live down here. Ridden on the sky train. But I have not ridden on a on a ground level on a on a bog standard ground level train. Just haven't done it. Hey! Okay. Oh, sir, thank you for more five dollars! Donated five dollars. Pizza train. Get booked. Ridden, never ridden on a subway and while it wouldn't be a common thing uh you would like to go on once for the experience yeah i'm not gonna lie to y'all it is not an experience <laughs> i mean like sky train is is more of a of more of a metro subway than it is it's like more of a subway thing than it is a, a train so maybe an actual train is better but like i know the vancouver sky train basically just feels like on like getting on a bus <gasps> rat Can somebody like, can somebody just get footage of this guy doing his little dance and then just play this music over it and speed it up a bunch? <laughs> oh, he's gonna do it. Do your little dance, come on. There it is. Perfect, okay, somebody clip that. Somebody clip that and then we'll we'll throw the music on it later. We'll we'll speed it up a, a ton. We'll make it, we'll make a funny gif. Funny, fu make a funny reaction gif. <gasps> Keycord! Perfect time to come in. Hi, Hazel! I, I choose to believe that your presence is what spawned in that rat, Hazel. You know how some games, like, devs will put in, like, secret ways to fuck with your game? I think that, hey. Kill them. I think that that's what the devs of this game did and they, 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 there's, they, they added that rat as soon as they saw you here, Hazel. Why does this song have like a train horn in it? Speaking of trains. I tried to throw, shoot a grenade there. I don't know if y'all heard the little click. It was so sad. I like pivoted the aim up and everything. Literally the amount of times you join stream there's something, something rodent related going on is scary. It's happened too many times now. I think that you've got some sort of like cosmic like fundamental cosmic uh, uh, control going on here, like subconscious cosmic uh, uh, like manipulation. I saw an interesting, this is gonna be weird. I saw an interesting adventure time theory yesterday because it was one of those days. Uh, the theory posited, so like if you've seen adventure time, a little bit of spoilers here. Uh, the, the theory went that Jake the dog does not necessarily have stretchy powers. But wait, because that sounds dumb, because obviously he does. The idea is that 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 Jake uh, is like, has powers to control imagination and he can do things that he believes in. And the, the evidence is basically, there's this one episode where like Prismo, the wish god, right? Uh, 
like so prismo is the dream of like an old sleepy man and in this episode the old sleepy man i guess dies or something i don't remember uh and so like they do a time loop where jake becomes the old sleepy man and dreams up prismo and the theory is like hey that's kind of wild that jake can just dream up a wish god uh and so they they take there's a bunch of evidence that they throw in examples of like jake doing things that like sh that are pr like pretty pre like there's some like early season stuff where like obviously it was like in reality it was just goofy silly you know early adventure time random humor but there was some stuff where like uh we're, we're, for example like the, the the one time where like finn's getting over his fear of the ocean they're in the bedroom and then the bedroom like falls apart and they're in the ocean and they're like ah jake made it happen because he believed he could make it happen it's a whole it's a whole thing it was very fun you need to watch all of adventure time someday i it's a tough watch I'm not gonna lie. adventure time is hard to go back to because the first seasons are like bad but like you, you can't skip them because it is fundamentally a show about growing up. And if you don't, like, experience the growth of the characters, you miss out on the whole crux of its message. But also, I don't want to hear Finn go, that's hecka meth every two seconds. I'm not, like, ten anymore. It doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> Hi, team. I agree. Let's get the hell out of here. Adventure Time is good as it goes on. And Adventure Time has some, like, truly phenomenal episodes. But, like, it's not so bad. <laughs> at first. At first. This is where Dr. Rosenberg and his team hiding. Whoa. Uh whoa. -oh. Whoa. -oh. Whoa. -oh. Whoa. -oh. Ah! Thank you the follow. I mean, the sub. Oh, fucker. Good job, team. No, our medic died. Why is it always got to be the fucking medic? Oh, no. Some truly mathematical episodes, you mean? No, I didn't say that. That's what we call them. Is it now? Oh, I wonder if it's because they look like manta rays. Animals or machines, but they pose a real threat. Hopefully, our anti-air forces will find the way to deal with them. I love fan mods. <laughs> I love when fan mods try and do dialogue. I don't know if we'll have enough time to like beat this mod today, but if we do, there's a plot twist that happens that's really funny. And it's not a good one. <laughs> it's dumb. But I want to see if we can get to it. We'll see. Oh, that's not made of wood. We should make heck of math a thing. I don't, heck of math will never be a thing. Stop trying to make it happen. Heck of math will never happen. Okay, that's enough stabbing. Don't, dude, dude almost shot me. Where's the rest of the squad? It's just him. I don't know why this mod adds, like, small shield containers. Those, like, small little blue ones that don't glow. They add, like, five shields or something. I don't know <laughs> what that, like, the benefit of adding that is. It's cute! It's so unnecessary. Surrender, Freeman! Christ. I'm running out of ammo. Yet. Who shot me? I was in the car. That's cheating. You guys got wall hacks. Heck of math sounds like an alternate timeline cool math games. Heck, heck of math is what cool math games would have been called if Adventure Time came out bef before cool math games came out. I'm not so good with ladders. Okay. Jump on 
on this. Jump on this. Hey. Okay. I thought that door was going to be locked and I was going to shit myself. <laughs> That's going to be so mad. Oh no, my squad! They put bombs in my squad. Here, this is what I'm talking about, the small shields. It's just, it's a small one. It just gives you five shield. Video so Oh my god, somebody get Ellie in here. Video so Damn, that's a freaking callback. <laughs> this is like a fairly recent mod. I see they respect their, their history. Fuck, there's a lot of turrets in this mod. Goodness. That unreloaded because I need the bullets for my pistol because it does more damage per bullet. That's called big brain gaming. Look it up. Hello? Those didn't. All right. That Gordagon finessed around my bullets. Oh my god, that guy's got a quick draw. Fastest draw in the West, freaking Cowboy Barney over here. Christ. Give me a high noon, Barney. Jesus. That plays Overwatch. Just chugging down NOS energy drinks. Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All this work for nothing. Gotta lock the doors in this facility. You'd think I'd like come across somebody with just a set of keys. You know what? In the future, <laughs> I wanna make a game where one of the core mechanics is you're a janitor and you have one of those like key rings that just has like hundreds of keys on it, right? And Throughout the game, you have to learn what each key, like, opens. And you have to, like, learn and memorize which keys work for what kinds of doors. And there's just a ton of them, right? And, like, speedruns will all be about, like, key management. Maybe you, like, get... No, no, I was gonna say maybe you get more keys as you go. No, you gotta start with every key. But it's just a matter of fiddling with the... This has gotta be a VR game, too, I think. <laughs> just for... Just to really nail the feeling home. You gotta fiddle with your keys and one by one move through them. I want this I want this as a reality. Anything left down here? Oh, maybe I can go down? Yeah, down. Into water. A similar pitch for a game, or maybe you said this is an early start. I've never said this before, so you must have heard a similar pitch. It definitely is not a uh, not a reoccurring idea. That sounds awesome. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Thank you, but don't humor me. It sounds like a slog of a game. You can't humor me. I'm a streamer. If you give me like an inch, I'll go and I'll make like a like a tower defense game with my face on it and it'll it'll completely bomb and it'll cost it'll it'll put me like five hundred thousand dollars into debt. And then I'll get canceled for doing cocaine on stream or something. Rope. Rope. Very slow rope. Oh hey, we made it. <laughs> Yes, it does. You'll keep that idea in the back of your mind forever now. Listen, if you make this terrible game into a reality, you have, you have full rights to do so. Go ahead. Jesus. Bodies. This is a cool-ass set piece! Whoa, I love that! That was a fun... That was a fun room. Tunic does the you had this from the start gimmick, so it's not a bad idea. Okay, there's a big difference from you had this from the start, and here's a hundred keys. Sift through them for every door you interact with in the entire game. It's not a game, that's busy work. You 
can't you can't give me you can't give me room here you got it you gotta you gotta stop me in my tracks all right you gotta smack my wrist and go sophie no no esoteric game ideas There's a story to it. Upon finishing the game, your boss gives you a completion reward and a skeleton. Uh, a skeleton key? Okay, that's fun. Games are just fun, busy work. That's not accurate. I mean, they're, they're, that's not what I mean by busy work. Moving on now, sorry. Oh no, I'm not, I, I need to clarify. I am not actually upset. I, this is a joke. <laughs> Obviously there's, you can do cool things with any idea. It's all about execution. I'm joking, I'm doing this for the bit. I want chat to really, really please know I'm not, I'm not upset in any way. <laughs> You'll be a, buy a VR setup to, and play my weird game. I want, I will, I almost certainly will make a VR game someday, so out for that. Once Couples Craft is done, I want to shift to a VR game idea I have. But that's many years down the line, so. Skeleton key breaks after the first use. You know what? Okay, let's entertain this idea for a minute. That would be like an interesting resource management thing. Like you get skeleton keys, but they break after a single use. So you have to decide like when you want to use them. It's like an elixir in like a Final Fantasy game. You have to save it for the right moment. Like let's say you get into a room with a boss and you can skip the boss if you use a skeleton key, but then you lose a skeleton key. Alternative idea, Sora has a hundred key blades and you have to sort through the right one to close the keyhole. Well, then this is just Square Enix plagiarizing my idea. Let me fly away, let me fly away. Let me fly away. I want to get out. I'm done with this. Let me get out of here. Could there be a secret key to unlock the boss's heart? Now, this is interesting. This is like a dating simulator angle with it. Oh, shit. The big one. Where on earth do I go? Oh, do I call the radio? Yep. Nope, I lied. Head to the old lab sector. I don't know where that is. Has ten thousand dead. Corporal, that monster wiped out my squad. That's not good. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Whoa! What the fuck is that sound? Oh. This is a fun sequence. Oh! Ah! It's Mr. Friendly. I forgot this was in the mod. Homing fireball blast! Jesus Christ! Ah! Let me breathe! I just did a scary mini boss fight. I forgot that was in the mod. That's so fun. That was a cut Half Life enemy, if you're not aware. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was Mr. Friendly, which was the nickname given to it. Total custom moveset. Like, I maybe custom animations. I don't know if those those were the baked in animations, but the moveset itself, totally custom. Straight from the, the brain, the big old brain of the mod maker. Phoenix plagiarized my idea again. Wait, when was the first time? I'm I, I think I'm not caught up on the Sophie baby lore. God, this game's dark. You know, they put in built-in, like, night vision modes. Could one of them not have been a flashlight? <laughs> These Vorticons are, like, working the counter. And the head crabs are their cash registers. This is Vortigaunt McDonald's. Oh, God. Well, I'm not here to order. Jesus Christ. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have 
a taste of your own medicine. I think I got that guy. Whoa! Aperture silence? Wait, what? <laughs> no news from our main competitor during last week. What happened? Oh, that's cute. I did not see this the first time I played through this mod. This little optional room. Aperture silence? No news from our main... That's cute! That's a cute little, like... Workplace propaganda. <laughs> that rules! Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. I see strike. Yeah, that was cute. That was cute. There's a lot of little cute things in here. Like, this person clearly cares about the, the Half-Life universe. And it's not, like, in your face. It's not super in your face. It's very, like, believable. It's nice. Big-ass TV! I don't even think they had TVs that big in, like, 1990X when Half-Life takes place. I want to believe That's Zen. They can't... <laughs> I don't think they can have that on the wall. I think that's classified. What's this mod called again? This is called a field intensity. Half-life field intensity. Yeah, it's a it's a relatively recent one. Oh no, not the black ops. Let's focus on our objectives. That's fun. You get to see them arriving. I don't know why the like air pressure from the helicopters is shattering the glass, but I, I don't know. They're 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 hardcore. Excuse me. That's cute. Did he say die? The Vortigaunts kind of sound like that. Yeah, the Vortigaunts don't like speak English in this game. This is before Half-Life 2. This is Half-Life 1. They don't speak nothing. They just go blah. That's actually jump scared. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That's enough. Too many. Too many. Stop. This is like that one scene in, 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 in Hunt Down the Freeman. That's enough! No. Get out of here. You're not part of this. You're not invited to this. Why did this room open? <laughs> bye bye! I don't know they could have recorded the line for the mod. No, that's that's a normal thing the Vortigaunts say. It's, it's just how the line sounds. The announcer voice just say yay. I don't. I could. I couldn't hear it. I don't think it did. I think it said something about something being deactivated. I could be wrong. Though. God, like so many of these environments look like they could be pulled out of like actual half-life maps but they're wholly original it's it's really cool how they managed to capture the feeling in of of like the games in these areas that are just completely unique like it's similar but it's 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 a it's 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 a unique like uh uh layout 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm green. I'm gah. I'm green with it. Don't oh, fuck. Dodge, dodge. This is fun, though. This is the, the Zen stuff teleporting into the facility. See, like, little stuff like this. Also, props for keeping headcrabs as, like, a, like a re regular enemy. In Half-Life 1, they eventually... Headcrabs just eventually become, like, a nuisance you occasionally see. That's what I'm talking about. Like, there's a lot of really good design in here. I don't... <laughs> Bye. I, t I turned him into dust. Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't need to fight you. Jeez. I got Nickelodeon slime. No. The aliens truly are resorting to diabolical means. is about to set up a trap for Rosenberg and his crew. Your assistance is requested, Stefan. You can get to the old labs from the ventilation system. I have not played Half-Life Decay, but this is cute. And I, I think Dr. Rosenberg is Decay, right? That's not... I don't think Rosenberg is uh, Blue Shift. He might be. I can't remember. Anyway. No, Dr. Rosenberg is definitely Blue Shift, actually. This is cute. I wonder if this will actually tie in with like how Dr. Rosenberg gets trapped. Because you find him in a in a in like a shipping container in Blue Shift. If memory serves. Hello? Hello? Where am I headed? <laughs> they just sort of dropped me in this room. Can I not progress here? Is this not? Oh! <gasps> no! God damn it. I thought this was like a one way sort of direction. Wait, did I not come from here? I thought I came from... Oh, my, my brain is all messed up. Okay, never mind. This chapter's called Buyer Fringence. I don't think that's a word. Oh, the wrench. That's cute. That's... Sir! Cute. It's good to see another man in uniform. Sir! I'll have you through here in no time. It's so dark. Something in the vent. Yeah, there it was, apparently. I thought I came from the vent for some reason. My brain is scrambled. My brain is, is full of egg. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, cute! That's Blue Shift. That's, uh, that's Barney that you play as in Blue Shift. This is, they just tell, Jesus, they just teleported out. This is the blue shift teleporter. Oh, can I get in? We gotta go. I gotta get... Oh, Jesus Christ. This is really cute. That's the trap for Rosenberg they were talking about. Can I... Oh. Oh. They took away my guns. Oh, yeah, I get to Lee. Oh, my God. Oh. Or not. Whoa. Would I have died if I had less than 50 health there? <laughs> I just went from like 100 to 50. This is such a cool little sequence. Oh my god, we're the soldier they pull through an opposing force. That's cute! 
up. I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I was hoping that you saw- That was Adrian we walked past. Now it seems we are all in the same situation. And this is the exact lines from Closing Force. Any weapons to provide you with the firepower, yet we still have something to offer. And there's the AI lines. A single first aid kit. This is a portable medkit device developed within the walls of this <laughs> Oh, it's got the Sven co-op, like, you can see people's health. That's cute. I hope you have better luck out there, or I fear none of us will get through this alive. Considering this had exactly enough to get me back to full health, I think that wasn't damage that took me down to 50. I think it was a trigger that sets your health to 50, if I had to guess. This is cute. We're, 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 we're back to square one. I forgot about this. Like, like I said, I have played this before. I just don't remember, like, most of it. Yeah, this is a supremely well done mod. All the all the references and stuff to the other games don't feel cheesy. They they feel earned. Jesus, you're, you're tough. <gasps> I got a flashlight. I forgot about this too. I got a fl and a crowbar. I, that's not necessary. I don't need all these melee weapons. But thank you. <laughs> I got a flashlight. We don't have to be green with it anymore. Thank God. Oh, happy day. Oh, I missed. Okay. <laughs> Yay, flashlight. No more... <laughs> Green. Save that. Oh, Jesus. How goes it? Hi, Bailey. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. We're doing good. Uh, we're playing a mod right now. We're playing Field Intensity, uh, a Half-Life mod that's really high quality. Hope you're doing good, Bailey. Yeah, Bailey, I haven't said what we're doing yet, but I gave a couple hints earlier on in the stream that we've got a, we've got a plan for a big old rust, uh, a rust, like, little, little stream idea. A little stream plan for rust coming up soon. Beautiful. Very excited for that. Yeah, me too. Beautiful. I just turned a sentry on somewhere. Scary. We don't gotta fight it. Save the ammo. My health will be the resource for this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Take away my guns and then you put turrets? Mean to me. Let's try. Hmm. Seems I couldn't go on without them. <laughs> all right. I think I'm going to call it here. I'm getting pretty sleepy here, but I've had a good time. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Let me let me share this fun little mod. Uh, I'm going to be streaming again. What day is it today even? Today's Friday, right? I'll be streaming again on Sunday. No clue what the plan is, but we'll figure something out. 
Uh, thank you to everybody who was here for the HelloFresh unboxing. Again, my HelloFresh code is going to be active for at least a couple more weeks here. HelloFresh uh, is a great deal. You use my code, you get like up to 20 meals off uh, for free, excuse me, to up to 20 meals for free. Uh, it's a huge deal and it helps me out, helps me out a ton. Thank you everybody who donated today. And, uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for have big heart. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go drop a, a rate on socks because it is Socks' birthday right now. And Socks is reading Homestuck. Socks is still live, right? I didn't even check. I imagine Socks is probably still live. Socks is definitely still live. We're going to go raid Socks and we're going to say happy birthday. Also, Tanny Meteor, thank you for the follow. Everybody, the raid phrase is happy birthday. Go say hi and go donate the socks to, to get them to read more Homestuck. Have a good day. I will see you all on Sunday. And thank you for hanging out. Bye-bye.